Parliament today voted to delete the Finace Bill 2024. Watch. I beg to report that the Committee of the Whole House has considered the President's recommendations to the Finance Bill, National Assembly Bill No. 30 of 2024, and its approval thereof without amendments, therefore deleting all the clauses of the bill. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Chairperson. Move up the bill. Honorable Speaker, I beg to move that the House do agree with the committee in the said reports. I also request Honorable Silvanas Osoro to second the motion for agreement with the report of the committee of the whole House. Honorable Osoro. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I wish to second, and even as I second, Honorable Speaker, I want to thank all the members that have participated in this. They are in agreement with what the President uh, the reservations by His Excellency the President in regard to the bill, and, um, but with a very heavy heart, Honorable Speaker. Be that as it may, I second. Honorable Members, I propose the question, which is that the House do agree with the committee in the said report. Who the question? I put the question, which is that the House do agree with the committee in the said report. As many as of that opinion say aye. As many as have a contrary opinion say nay, their eyes have it. Honorable members, allow me to issue this communication, guidance following the passage of the President's reservation to the Finance Bill 2024. Honorable members, the guidance relates to the just concluded business, which is the agreement with the report of the Committee of the Whole House on the consideration of the President's reservation to the Finance Bill, National Assembly Bill, number 30 of 2024. Honorable members, as you are aware, the House has voted in agreement with the President's reservation and the recommendation to delete all clauses of the Finance Bill 2024. Following this decision, the bill has been rejected in its entirety. I wish to clarify that the import of the decision of the House is that the bill is lost. Consequently, no provision that was contained in the bill shall have any legal effect. In this regard, honorable members, strictly speaking, there is no bill for the Speaker to present to His Excellency the President for assent as contemplated under Article 115.5 of the Constitution. To signify the decision that the House has taken on the bill this afternoon, I shall therefore only convey the effect of the decision, which is that the Finance Bill, National Assembly Bill, number 30 of 2024, has been rejected. The House is accordingly guided. I thank you.